What is up YouTube, Raider Nation 2014 here, I got another video for you guys, episode number 8 of my Budget Squad series, and we need one more game to make the playoffs. That'd be crazy, in this first season with this Budget Squad, new team, new everything, and in an all Madden seed that we make the playoffs, that's crazy. So let's see if we can make the playoffs in this game, 4,000 coins, one badge pack, one season's pro, collectible on the line, and let's see what my opponent's got on his team, you see he's got a couple 90s, especially on the O-line quarterback, you know... 90 overall, linebacker Lawrence Taylor. He's got Jamal Charles, which I hate playing against. He's just an amazing running back, and he's starting it off with strong power to Jamal Charles. This is going to be a long game, and my opponent's got effective run plays, counter, strong power, 0-1 trap. With Jamal Charles, not going to work. I am not going to succeed very well if he's just going to run the ball down my throat. And it looks like early on that's what he's going to do. But then he comes out passing the ball I did not expect it and hits the seam perfectly to Dave Casper up the middle. Was not defending it. Went at kind of at my user, more or less, and you know, beat me, so that's just, we gotta tighten up on that coverage a little bit, and stop the run at the same time, we do stop the drag route by bringing a little bit of pressure, third and two though, cannot stop the run, that is my kryptonite right there, if you play me, just run the ball, you'll, you'll do perfectly fine, I promise you, throws a little route in the flat side, but we got it all covered, passing routes, I'm, I'm pretty good against the pass, but against this run, look at this, just an up the gut run, normal up the gut run, six yards, whatever, but third and two, we do run commit here, so we do get a stop, and this is the difference between me now and me a couple months ago. Back a couple months ago, I couldn't stop the run at all. If you ran the ball on me every play, you would win the game every time. 10 out of 10. Now, if you run the ball every play on me, you'll win about half the time. I still can't stop the run, but I'm getting a little bit better at it. So now we're on offense, and we got to get a drive here. Goodwin in the, on the drag route, you know. Getting a few yards. Third and two. We are back to pass. We throw a pick to Lawrence Taylor. And it looked like Jeffrey was about to get another one-hand catch. And if you guys have been keeping up with the videos, he's gotten a one-hand catch on a slant route in about in the second or first quarter two or three straight videos, this would have been the third straight video, but, you know, Lawrence Taylor wanted to rob him, and Tyvon Branch come out of nowhere to swat that ball away, third and eight, dropping back to pass, and we get the near sack with Aaron Donald, forcing my opponent to kick another field goal, so the defense is playing really strong, you know, the offense isn't there, but the defense surely is there, only holding him to six points instead of the possible 14, we could have, you know, we go deep to Andre Holmes, and he gets tackled down right around the 21-yard line, and we are in my opponent's territory, looking to put up some points, RG3 trying to get away from the sack but managed to get sacked by the d tackle anyway Gino Atkins bringing him down there second and 11 we hit Jeffrey there was not picked off by Lawrence Taylor this time third and six what the hell my center just takes the ball and gets tackled what is this garbage and look at it, it was on third down two doesn't hike the ball just gets snapped doesn't get snapped Marquise Pouncey just takes it and the defensive tackle tackles my center <laughs> next play is karma though you know, tackle my center, and I lost yards this time, tackle the center, and I get five yards. And then we do get the first down, luckily that we get that. First and goal here, RG3 taking off, you know, getting three yards. Second and goal here, we're looking for someone to be open. And I've normally done this, just run that five wide, run to the left, and someone is wide open, but this time not at all, and we get sacked on the play. And we're going to try and hit Andre Holmes here on the fade, but he drops the ball. So we'll settle for our three points. I was not happy about that drive, only settling for three. I thought we had seven for sure, but the momentum was just killed, and... Another momentum killer is Jamal Charles, just, you know, using that speed to go down the field. Luckily, we have Tyvon Branch, who has quite a lot of speed, too, to be able to catch him so he doesn't get the touchdown. Again, Jamal Charles just feeding the ball to Jamal is what he's doing, and it's working for the most part. Calls a timeout there, only gained a yard on the play, and we get the sack with Khalil Mack. Great play by the linebacker to sack him, forcing a hurry up here. Third and 20. We just need to not let him get a first down. And we do let him get a first, and I don't know how. My users were trash on that play. They were awful. He gets into field goal range. He luckily doesn't go for the touchdown. And now it is a 9-3 to game. No touchdown scored in the first half. Now we got to turn up here. This is the drive we got to have. We need a touchdown here. Go up 10-3. to And we go deep to Andre Holmes, but it is overthrown by Robert Griffin III. Third and eight here. We hit that slant route to Alshon Jeffrey. That is money, people. That slant route to Alshon is money. So first and 10 now. Robert Griffin dropping back, using that speed, but throws past the line of scrimmage. Should have been picked off by Branch, but we're going to get the penalty, lose five yards, and a down. Second and 15, Robert Griffin dropping back, taking off on the play. Hits the juke move, yeah, only to gain like another yard or so, gain a nine. Third and six for Robert Griffin. Good protection from the O-line. Scrambles out to his left, and this is what I mean. Someone is left wide open, Delaney Walker. Absolutely open on the play. Booty hole open, as I'd say. And just gets, you know, those huge gains of 20 yards. And now we're going to try and run the ball a little bit. But, you know, when I'm down, I tend to not run the ball because I'm not good at it. It takes a lot of time, and when I'm down, I want to be up. It just it makes me anxious not being up. 
So we have Ladarius wide open, puts the hand up, and we're going to hit him on the play. And we are just two yards away, and we're just going to pound in with Latavius Murray. Touchdown, Oakland Raiders. We take the lead by one. Now my opponent's on the field. We need to stop the run game. And that is what we're going to come out here to do. Mo Charles really hasn't had a big rush since, you know, early in the first half. So we're hoping to shut him down in this fourth quarter, third quarter. Fourth and four passes on the curl, and he is knocked out by C.J. Mosley. And the very next play, Latavius Murray down the sidelines and in the end zone. Touchdown number 34, which should be number 28, but eh, it's not my business. So first and 10, my opponent on offense. We are up 17-9. What a turn of events. Down 9-3 to up 17-9, a 14-point swing very quickly, might I add. First down for my opponent. He only needs eight points, though. That, that's the thing. We're only up eight. So if he gets a touchdown on the two, it's a tie game. And I don't know how I was not covering the four averts this time. The jumping is just not there for Mosley. A lot of you have recommended Shazier. Well, a couple of you or one of you have recommended Shazier to cover that. And we might add him onto the team next season because I am getting kind of sick of not being able to use these four averts. And this time we use her very well. But we get the drop pick by CJ Mosley. That is not what we like to see. Third and seven hits that slant route, which is money for only six yards, though. He needs an additional yard running the ball. No, it's a fake. And he caught me off guard completely. I thought he was running it for sure. But he hits the tight end on the post. First and goal, fullback dive. Big hit, though, from CJ Mosley to keep him short. But second and goal, you know, fake run again. I cannot stop the pass on that. You know, I was talking about not being able to stop the run, but here we can't stop the pass. Goes for two, big play, and he gets it. So he is tied here, and that big music's going to come on now. We need to win this game. We need this drive to be our best. We need to win this game right now. Second and five, almost sacked, but we hit Alshon Jeffrey, and Lawrence Taylor was there. I was afraid he was going to intercept that ball, but he did not. First and 10, there is no rush, and we make the dumbest throw ever. Walker did not break on the route, and we're going to throw a pick right here. I cannot fucking believe he dropped it. That is just lucky on our part that he dropped that ball. Right, RG3, you shouldn't be fucking mad. You should be happy that he dropped that pick. Second and 10, Delaney Walker wide open again on the same play we hit earlier in the game. And that is going to be huge, getting us to near midfield and a first down. Hitting Cooks on the little drag route, you know, getting us to midfield exactly, or one yard short. Second and six here, running a slant to Delaney Walker. And look, he's open again, but my opponent sees it just a little too late. TJ Ward cannot make the play. We are in field goal range. We just need to use up his timeouts and don't, yeah, not DeMarco Murray, Latavius Murray gets us in field goal range. We kick that boy, and we win this game 20 to 17. Thanks for watching, guys. We go to the playoffs with the budget squad. Congratulations to the whole budget squad, and thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Madden Ultimate Team, budget squad, pack openings, player reviews, whatever. All that content. And remember, if you're new, check out um, episode 1 of this series for a chance to win $20 PSN or MSP when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Again, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.